Margaritaville at Sea Paradise is one of the most budget-friendly cruises you can take to the Bahamas for a quick, fun getaway. Let's take a quick tour of this fun ship. Margaritaville at Sea Paradise currently operates two night cruises between Port of Palm Beach and Grand Bahama Island. But starting in August of 2024, this ship will offer three night sailings that will feature Saturdays at sea with entertainment, dining, and of course, plenty of margaritas. Let's start this tour on the License to Chill deck on Deck 11. Here's where you'll find a plunge pool, the entertainment zone where you will participate in sail away parties, enjoy live entertainment, and more. There are plenty of loungers and day beds to just kick back, relax, and enjoy some sun. On this deck, you will also find the License to Chill bar. Be sure to add on your drink package at the time of booking. I highly recommend trying the Pink Cadillac. It was certainly my favorite drink. At the aft of the License to Chill deck, you will find the adults only area complete with the 12 volt bar, pool, and jacuzzis. This area is only for those 18 years and up and makes for a fun time at the pool. Forward on Deck 11, you will find the Saint Somewhere Spa and Fins Up Fitness Center. While the fitness center is complimentary to use, spa treatments and massages are an additional charge. Be sure to check for Embarkation Day specials and get your treatments booked as soon as you board the ship. The floor to ceiling windows are perfect for catching ocean views while working up a sweat. But if you're like me and avoid working out while on a cruise, you can go down one level to deck 10 and here you will find the five o'clock somewhere bar and cheeseburgers in paradise. Here you can grab complimentary cheeseburgers, veggie burgers, fries, and adult beverages while overlooking the beautiful ocean. In the evenings, you may even catch live music here. Also be sure to check out this area in the morning for a quick breakfast station. And just a few steps away, you will find the Port of Indecision Buffet. The buffet offers an array of savory dishes, salads, a pasta bar, fruit, and desserts for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Lemonade, tea, and non-bottled water are also available at the buffet. I particularly enjoyed the made-to-order omelets in the morning. And don't forget about the complimentary soft-serve ice cream available throughout the day. Now let's hop on down to Forward on Deck 9, where you will find the Stars on the Water Theater that spans both decks 8 and 9. Each night there will be a show with a live band, singers, dancers, and aerialists. The shows are high energy and very entertaining. Throughout the day in the theater, you will also find bingo and other fun activities. And be sure to check out the nightly pianists as they perform near the Stars on the Water Bar located on Deck 8. But continuing on Deck 9, you will find the Everything But Sand Retail Plaza. The Everything But Sand Retail Plaza includes a photo shop, Souls of Tropic store, duty-free liquor store, Island Time souvenirs, and more. This is paradise for those who love to shop, and the souvenirs are reasonably priced, so be sure to grab something to take back home to your family and friends. Now, Midship on Deck 9 is home to two upcharge food venues, Frank and Lola's Pizza and the Margaritaville Coffee Shop. You can grab a whole pizza for about $15, or a three-course meal for two for about $25. And yes, I know, you're gonna say, why would I pay for pizza when other cruise lines have free pizza? Well, the other cruise lines don't have Frank and Lola's. Give them a try. Oh, and the coffee. 
I will say is the best specialty coffee that I've had at sea and is priced perfectly for a latte, cappuccino, or just a plain cup of joe. Now continuing on deck nine, you will find the Margaritaville at Sea Casino where you can try your luck at slots and table games. Now just a couple of things to know about Margaritaville Casino is that this is a non-smoking casino. Um, so if you'd like to smoke, you have to go to deck 11 on the port side of the ship. But um, to play, you will need a player's club card, which you can register for when you enter the casino. The casino does not accept room charges, so you will need to actually bring cash with you to play at the slots or at the table. So you cannot charge it back to your cabin. Uh, the casino is on, a, on the smaller side compared to other cruise lines, but they have very popular slot machines and table games available for those who want to press their luck. Now all the way at the aft on deck nine, you will find Key on the Water Dueling Piano Bar. Here you will find nightly live entertainment, karaoke, game shows, and during the day, Jimmy Buffett concerts will be played on the big screen. This is one of my favorite places to lounge while on board. And the bar back here seems to never be crowded, so be sure to stop by to grab your favorite drink. All right, and just beneath us on deck eight aft, you will find the JWB Prime Steakhouse. Now the steakhouse is an additional charge. You can book it when you make your reservation or you can add it on once you get on the cruise ship. Um, again, this is an upcharge. This is also where you'll have your sparkling wine breakfast if you choose to pay $25 for a brunch breakfast. Um, but this is attached to the Finn's dining room, which is the main dining room um, where you will have your dinner each night. Um, so here we are, Finn's dining room. This is just a small portion of the dining room. As you see, it's rather large. And guys, when I tell you the food is really good here, it is really good. I was really impressed with the quality of food on board um, here in Finn's Dining. I do recommend arriving a little early because the lines can be long, but the service is quick. And right next to the dining room, you're gonna find the Euphoria Lounge. Now this is where you're gonna go when you first get on the ship to collect your wristbands if you have the drink package or if you wanna make uh, reservations to have a drink package, this is where you're gonna go. But the Euphoria Lounge will have different live entertainment each night. They will have game shows. One of the most popular game shows is the Adult Quest game, um, which happens usually later in the evening but there is a bar. This is a very lively space. So Euphoria Lounge, highly recommend checking it out. Um, as you see, the bar is there. And again, the drinks are delicious. And if you continue on midship on deck eight, you will run into Finn's City Arcade, which is an arcade perfect for families, for kids, for teens, whoever likes to play video games. Now, of course, this is an upcharge. You will have to um, pay to participate in these video games, this arcade, but it's lots of fun. Um, also something to note is that Margarita Valetzi does offer um, kids clubs and teens clubs. You will have to register during open house. I was not able to capture footage of the kids clubs, but be sure to check out our live stream from boarding day. I do include that information there. Also on deck eight, you will find a card room and a place where you can go play games like Jenga, uh, chess, checkers, things like that. So this is a cool spot to kind of get away from the sun, get away from the crowd if you want to play some board games. Now also on deck eight, you will find the Compass Rose Conference Center. Now you would only see the space if you had a group on board or were part of a presentation or conference, but this is the conference center on board. Now decks seven, six, and five are stateroom accommodations, but you will also find on deck five, um, your shore excursion desk, as well as your reception for guest services. Um, you will go there if you have any issues on board, if you need to check in with your onboard spinning account, or if you wanna book a shore excursion for your day in Grand Bahama.
And last but not least, on deck 14, you will find the Hemisphere Nightclub. Now the nightclub is available for those 18 and older. As you can see, they have a few games available here, but the DJ will play different genres of music each night. And from what I've heard, they party hard up until 2 or 3 a.m. So if you like music, you like to dance, definitely check out Hemisphere Nightclub. Personally, I didn't get a chance to check it out because I'm usually in bed before them, but I heard it makes for a really good time. And that is it for our tour on board Margaritaville at Sea Paradise. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell as we will be boarding Margaritaville at Sea Islander, the sister ship, during its inaugural season in June of 2024. If you have any questions about Margaritaville at Sea, please drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching.